bomb.com, okay? Hi guys! So today I'm coming to you with a DIY video that's not hair related. So this video is basically just to show you guys how I made my ring light because I got a few questions on Facebook of how I created this ring light or whatever. Granted, the one I created on Facebook is not as awesome as the one I'm about to, um, I'm about to show you guys how I made right now. The one that I originally made was with some cheap Target light bulbs and this one I just decided to invest a little bit now that I kind of know what I'm doing. So the reason I decided to make my own instead of buying a ring light is because I had one on Amazon, eBay and a couple of photography websites and stuff and I seen that the ring lights were like 150 to 300 dollars and I just didn't feel like it was really worth the investment because I didn't know if I really needed a ring light or not. I just kind of wanted one. So I also did see some reviews where the ring lights look kind of flimsy and I just, I'm not responsible enough to own that kind of equipment. So that's why I decided to make my own. Now this ring light that I'm making cost me about $20 to $25 with some stuff that I found around and a couple things that I ordered on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and let you know what you need to bring or what you need to have. So first is this uh, metal wreath. I got this in Walmart in the um, arts and crafts section. It's right by the artificial flowers. This cost me about, I want to say two or three dollars. I'll put everything as far as the prices and the links down below in the description box. So this is about 12 inches. Granted, the regular ring lights are about 14 inches. So this is only about two inches smaller. So it's still a pretty good size. I also need some household aluminum foil. It doesn't matter what kind. The reason why I'm using aluminum foil is to create a reflection off of my ring light. You'll need some Gorilla Glue. You can use Gorilla Glue, you can use a glue gun, you can use regular Elmer's glue. It's completely up to you because the ring lights that I'm going to show you that I ordered already have an adhesive on the back. So they naturally, well not naturally, but they're going to stick to your ring light. So the lights that I ordered are these LE Better Lighting Experience um, LED strips. These are waterproof and they're 6,000 K. And what that means is that it's, um, it's basically daylight white temperature. You want to make sure that yours are white if you want it to be brighter when you um, make your ring light or if you want it a warm color you can all you can order that depending on what kind of color you choose to get um, so what I'm going to show you is how the ring lights actually look here's a cut strip you're also going to need an, um, an adapter this comes separately from the actual LED lights this is about seven to eight bucks as well you're also going to need zip ties I also got these from Walmart so let's go ahead and get started. So first what I'm going to do is just take my metal wreath and I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. So I'm using sections that are about this wide and it's really up to you if you want it to cover the entire back of the wreath as well because your main focus is really going to be here in the front where the lights are going to be sticking. And you're just going to cover your entire wreath with the aluminum foil. So I'm just folding it over. Here's the back view. And I'm just folding it over. It really doesn't have to be that neat because your lights are going to cover the majority of it anyway. And I'm just going to wrap it around. Now, because the, the wreath does have like these little things on the side of them, it will, it probably will more than likely rip the foil. And that's perfectly okay. You just want to make sure that you wrap it as tight as possible so the al excess aluminum is just folding into the light. So what I did off camera was I went ahead and just finished the area of my soon to be ring light with the rest of the tin foil. I covered the back as well. So this is what it looks like. And this is the front. So you do want to make sure that even though I know tin foil wrinkles, wrinkles very easily. So you do want to make sure that this, the surface is at least a little bit smooth so that way it's easier for your, your LED lights to sit on it. Okay, so you guys, this is this box of LED lights. It comes, because I told you before, it comes in two boxes. So the two boxes come with this piece which is still connected to the light which allows it to connect to the adapter. So and then you also have the other end of the light which is pretty much the finished, the end piece looks like this. So what you're going to have to do to connect the two lights is you're going to have to cut them. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys where you're supposed to cut appropriately so you don't mess up your lights the way I kind of messed up mine the first time. So. Okay, so there's a plus and minus on here, and what you're going to want to do is cut in the middle. That way, the lights, when you connect them, will still work. If you cut it wrong, you will damage three lights. 
You're only losing three lives. Trust me, I've learned my lesson through this. But you, oh, you want to cut directly in the middle, or if you know that the part that you're gonna cut, you're no longer gonna need, cut it as close to the edge as possible. That way, you get you get full the plus and minus. Like you have a lot of enough room for the plus and minus because what you're gonna do afterwards, after you cut your light in order to connect it, the two pieces together, is you're going to take your connector. Of course, your other piece of connector is not gonna come with this. It's just that I've lost the rest of the pieces. So what you're gonna do is take that plus and minus and connect it inside the middle to the middle piece. You're gonna push it all the way in and snap. So it'll pretty much look like this. So after you connect your two lights together, what you're gonna wanna do is plug in your LED lights to make sure that they actually work. So you're gonna take your adapter and you are going to plug it into the other end of your light. So now that I know that my LED lights, both sets, work properly, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put it onto my ring light. I'm going to go ahead and plug these out for safety. Let me plug it out. The end of your LED light, and you're going to put it all the way at the top and in the middle of your wreath. And what you're going to do is just basically take it in a circular motion and keep going around. This is the part where you, you could secure it with glue if you felt it was needed because the LED lights do have an adhesive on the back so it will stick to the aluminum foil. It's just that sometimes the adapter is a little heavy so it does require that you use a little extra force to hold it on. Okay, so what you're going to do is make sure that it's all the way on the edge and just keep taking it around. Um, I was going to use glue, but my lights are sticking still pretty well. So I'm probably not going to use the Gorilla Glue. Just take it around. And I'm using the top part of the wreath as a guideline. And you just want to make sure that you press your LED lights firmly against the wreath just to make sure that they do stick. Okay, so I basically did the rest of my ring light off camera. I just wanted to show you guys the last little line of what I'm doing. So I didn't have that much room because of my spacing to finish the rest of the ring light on the actual inside of the wreath. But that's perfectly fine. Um, don't worry about if you have any spaces or gaps or anything like that. That's what the, the aluminum foil is for. It makes it seem like there's a light presence still there. So what I'm doing with the last little line of my um, ring light or with my LED lights, is I'm just putting it on the, I'm on the wrong side. I'm just putting it on the inside of the wreath. So that way when I'm recording, it'll actually shine down onto the camera while the other lights are reflecting out toward me. And I'm probably going to use some Gorilla Glue off camera in these little sections right here because I do see a couple of dips and lines. So this will probably be the part that I glue down. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of Gorilla Glue small dab and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna go ahead and connect the adapter to the end of my LED lights I am gonna put a zip tie at the bottom of where I just placed the Gorilla Glue because like I said earlier the adapter does get kind of heavy especially if it's not if if this ring light is not on a stand and the adapter will pull the lights down and I just don't want it to cause any damage to the ring light so what I'm gonna do is just wrap the zip tie around that last section and I'm just gonna pull it to make it extra tight and I'm gonna cut off the excess from the zip tie And my ring light is complete. But if you did want to dim down your ring light a little bit because it ends up being too bright or anything like that, you could also put um, parchment paper or wax paper around it. You can just wrap it around, tape it down. You also have the option of buying a dimmer from Amazon as well to where you can dim down your lights if, you, if it's too bright for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in and show you guys my finished product. Be a real bummer if it didn't. <laughs> So this is my ring light, and it's complete. And it didn't take me, it only took me like what, 15, 20 minutes to make? Yeah. So the cost of this was about 20 to 25 dollars. Like I said before, I'll go ahead and put the links in, description, in the description box below. I also did wanna let you guys know that what I did to connect it to my tripod for my camera is I just took two of these zip ties, wrapped it around that same bottom area where I clipped the first zip tie, and I just crisscrossed them. 
you know, something like that. I crisscrossed them with the tripod piece in the middle and I just made it really tight and it sat on my camera exactly like how it was supposed to. Like my camera was directly in the middle, it works out perfectly fine. Um, and then it, if you're on the go and you just want to bring your ring light, you don't need your tripod or anything like that, you can just clip the zip ties and put new ones on there later. I just didn't want to make a stand for this because that's a lot, to, a lot of extra stuff to carry around and I'm not doing all that. So. I'll go ahead and leave some before and after pictures at the end of this video. So thumbs up this video if you like it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, anything. If you have any questions, concerns, any videos you guys would like to see, please, I'm running out of ideas. Um, that's basically it. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll try and get be more consistent with my videos. Bye, you guys.